What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be raking some more car show cars. Let's get right into this. Okay, so up first, honestly this car looks amazing. I feel like it could have had a different paint job though. Uh, it's a little bit basic, bland for me. I would have liked at least maybe some ghost flames in it. I think that would look nice, but it is... A nice classic paint job, so I'll give it that. I like how it is a nice classic front end for the vehicle, but where the hood opens up, it does not look like that's original to me. I think that's awesome. I think I love those suicide doors, honestly. You don't see suicide doors on vehicles like this too often, so honestly, I feel like they work. Uh, it is a convertible. It looks like with the windshield, it does look like it's a chopped top. I can't really tell. The interior, however... It does not look, at least to me, like it's to the era. It looks like they're aftermarket or like a newer vehicle's interior, just a basic black interior. They don't look authentic to that time period. At least maybe that's just me looking at it. And I do like the rims, how they're nice custom chrome rims. It looks like the back ones are a little bit wider. Um, maybe that's just the angle of the picture, but I do like this vehicle. It does look nice. The next one here, honestly, is a nice Chevy truck. It does look like it's lowered a little bit. I do like that. I honestly like Chevy trucks because it looks like they are a little bit wider on the front. Um, at least maybe that's just my eyes. It's a nice dark red paint job. The rims match with it. They are nice. A little bit of chrome, but also the black rims. They just tie it all together to me. I like how it looks like there is the performance parts under the hood. Um, it is nice and clean, nice and crisp. It is very shiny. It looks nice. I like the front grille. Um, it looks all original, or at least to that time period. The interior, I can't really tell with this angle. And that's pretty much all for this vehicle. Honestly, I like this vehicle. Um, honestly, I don't think I ranked the last vehicle. The last vehicle, I'm going to rank it a 6.5 out of 10. This vehicle here, the truck, I think I'm going to rank it a 7.5 out of 10. Because, like I mentioned before in previous videos like this, I like trucks a little bit more. They're more up my alley. Next... This looks awesome. Even though it is a silver basic paint job, it does have those nice ghost flames. It does look nice. I like how there's no flares on the over the wind, uh, wheels. The wheels look nice and chrome. Um, even though it does have ghost flames, it still looks pretty basic for me. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 just because it is borderline basic for me. Next is this Beetle. This looks awesome awesome to the time period it looks authentic i like how it has the storage on the top the luggage that looks awesome it that's what it's used for it looks awesome um it is a nice cream paint job and again i know i should say that that's pretty basic but i think they're going for a more of a classic look for this car so having the cream paint job it does fit well the rims look nice um i don't think they're authentic to the time period at all but they do have a nice touch to it and bring in old school with new school. The interior, it kind of looks like they just have a blanket thrown over the back seat. So you can't really tell what the interior looks like. But all in all, this vehicle looks great. Because it is a classic and I like Volkswagen Bugs, I'm going to give this one a rank of, uh, I'm going to say 8 out of 10. This is the highest ranked one so far on this list. Next up, I love this style of Camaro. This Camaro looks awesome. The paint job looks phenomenal on it. There is a huge glare though. I think that's just the angle I took this picture at years ago. But honestly, that looks amazing. You can tell by the front right above the grill. It does have the classic Camaro racing stripes. It looks awesome. The interior looks amazing. It is nice and white. It looks like it has racing seat belts on it though. So I don't know if it's aftermarket inside. But it does look nice and it goes together. The interior... Uh, sorry, the uh, engine bay looks nice, cream, looks like performance parts, um, chromed out, it looks awesome. The rims look phenomenal. Again, it has wider rim, uh, wider tires in the back, so it looks awesome. It looks like they tried to make a classic Camaro with a couple customized features. I honestly love this. I'm going to rank this one really high, 9 out of 10. Next is a nice Chevy Bel Air. One thing that's thrown this one off for me, however, is how a lot of the accents are chrome, but you have the Chevy emblem on the front hood that is a gold 
And then right next to the headlights, you have those three little pieces that are gold as well. If it was all gold or all chrome, that would be awesome. But having those, having most of it chrome and having just a couple that are gold throws it off a little bit for me. But I'm going to look past that for now. The interior has a nice red in it that looks awesome. It's a basic black paint job. It's not murdered out because you have the white on the back. Um, so it does look nice like that. It's nice and classic. The rims are nice and shiny. Honestly, if I had to rank this, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. Just it looks like a nice clean Bel Air. Here is a nice Bel Air. This is honestly what I love. Um, this is a little bit more custom. I like the rims. They look nice. The interior, you can't really tell. Again, it looks like a blanket's thrown over right there. I like how it's the red and white. You have the roof and it basically the roof and the side. They follow the body lines of the vehicle, which I think is phenomenal because I love when they do that. And I like that red. Honestly, it fits with this car. And the red and white together are a good color combination. The rims, again, I think I just talked about them, but... Um, they definitely look custom. They look kind of odd for this vehicle to me. They're not what I would pick if it were my vehicle. And the engine bay, you can't really tell. It's kind of dark in this picture. For this one here, I'm going to give it a uh, 8 out of 10. It does look nice. Only thing I would change would be the rims. Next up, again, another Chevy Bel Air. This one here is definitely... I'm going to say this one is, might be my favorite one. It does look like it is an older Bel Air. Um, just due to the body lines of this car, it does not look like the previous one where the body lines were a little bit different on the sides, but it does look nice. I like how it has a white roof. I'm just hoping that is a white vinyl roof that would tie it together perfectly if it was. I do like the color orange on it. That does look nice. It's kind of like a copper orange, maybe. Um, it does look nice. Very shiny. I like how it's all chrome parts. Everything's matching, not like the first Bel Air we just looked at where... It has a couple gold pieces and the rest is chrome. This one here is all chrome. And you also have the rims which match, not like the previous video uh, vehicle where I did not like the rims. These rims here look awesome on this car. I'm going to give this one 8.5 out of 10. It's my favorite Bel Air so far. Next is this truck. Um, honestly, I'm not a fan of the front end. I can't really tell what it was supposed to be. It looks like it's just customized front end here. The rims look nice, the nice bullet rims. I do like how the rear ones are covered up. I think that looks nice. The gold and the cream I thought would go together a little bit more. It's just not working out for me. I don't like how it's a split grill in the front. It looks kind of odd. The grill looks kind of odd. Whenever I chose this, video, uh, this vehicle for this video, I liked it. Looking at it now for the video, I just don't. I'm going to rank this one 5 out of 10. It looks nice, but it's definitely not something I would want to own. Next is a nice, nice uh, Cobra. I love these. The paint job is authentic to what a Cobra should be. The windshield's a little bit too much of a glare. You can't see the interior, unfortunately, but the paint job is awesome. The white and the blue, kind of like a Ford Cobra, or sorry, the Ford colors anyways. So the Cobras look nice in this color. Uh, the rims, you can't really tell on this angle, but I like how the rear look like they're a fatter rim. And it is a convertible so i'm gonna give this one here because i love these cars and the paint job is authentic to it and it's classic it's not customized i'm gonna give this one nine out of ten as well as i can't remember which vehicle i already ranked that high but this one looks really nice next is this truck again i've talked about trucks before for this series on the channel i absolutely love the front grille how it is like this this one's better than the previous vehicles um uh, previous videos where the grill was very similar on some trucks because it doesn't cover up the headlights the headlights are open and exposed that to me looks a lot better i like the paint job only because it's the same color as my real life truck um so i'm gonna give it a little bonus points for that the interior looks like it's nice white maybe like a cream color hopefully can't really tell with the glare on the windshield the rims actually look really nice they actually go with this truck. I find that they fit perfectly and the truck itself looks like it's lowered. I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10 as well because it looks like it's a great truck. And the last on this list, I'm just going to go with the green Camaro on the front because you can see more of it and it's more up close. The green Camaro on the front honestly looks 
amazing. I'm not really into newer vehicles whenever I go to car shows, but if I see something that really catches my eye, I'm definitely going to take a picture of it and show it and share it. Um, this looks awesome. I like how the racing stripes look like they're kind of like a matte black. There's no shine to them, whereas the paint job looks like it has a metallic maybe. Uh, the interior, can't really tell. The front grille and that, the body of the vehicle looks like it's just off the lot. It's not customized, which I would have preferred a little bit more customization. But the rims, how it has the green and black as well, just like the paint job, fit. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 for this car. It looks awesome. So these are going to be all the cars that I rank for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I'm going to stick with 12 cars per video just because it's a little bit easier for me to manage and talk about. And I don't really want to give you guys a super long video. And by ranking more cars, that means it's going to be a longer video. So hopefully I will be doing another one in the future. Hopefully I will have more cars and hopefully for this summer, I will be going to more car shows to continue this series. Right now I'm just going through the past couple years, the pictures I've taken at car shows and sharing them with you guys for the videos. But in the future, going through more car shows this summer, I'll share some more with you guys soon. So hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.